My name is Jay Siemens. I'm from Kenora, Ontario, and I make YouTube fishing videos. It was probably my grandpa that got me into fishing. We'd do a yearly trip to the cabin. Uh, we rented a cabin in the White Shell Provincial Park in Manitoba, and we'd go fishing for walleye and pike. And it was, it was those yearly trips that kind of gave me the fishing bug. And then when I was about, I don't even know, probably nine or 10 years old, I actually dug uh, a man-made pond in my hometown. And it happened to be right in my backyard. And that's where I grew up and spent a lot of my time fishing for carp and bullheads and not glorious species, but it got me fishing every day. You know, I wanted to get into kayak fishing because, you know, where I live in Sunset Country around Lake of the Woods, obviously you got Lake of the Woods, this massive body of water, but it's speckled with hundreds or thousands of lakes all around it. And the kayak was just that perfect vessel to get me into these little untouched gems. And, you know, I love the, the variety in fishing and I want to fish every lake at least once. And, and the kayak has allowed me to get into these places that I've driven past and thought, you know, I wonder what's in there. We're on the shores of the Rainy River. We're in Minnesota right now, fishing for sturgeon. This is a pretty unique fishery. There's a massive population of sturgeon right now. And yeah, we're trying to catch sturgeon out of the kayak. Right now is a unique window. We're in the catch and keep window. So we can keep one sturgeon per year. You buy a tag for $5. You keep one sturgeon between 45 and 50 inches. The goal for this trip is to keep one between that 45 to 50 inch. A lot of people smoke them. There's some other ways you can prepare it, but actually something I've personally not done. So I'm looking forward to, you know, trying my first sturgeon. Lake of the Woods is still mostly frozen. We're able to, you know, pedal right up to the edge of the ice and it's it's a pretty cool scene you've got this vast lake that looks like you know somewhere in the arctic and then you're you're fishing on the open water right on the edge of it but it's uh it's cool because yeah this opens a month and a half early and you can fish in between the icebergs catch sturgeon and um just with the late ice out this year this gives you a fishing opportunity so How we're fishing for these sturgeon is, uh, I mean, they're coming into spawn later in June. So these fish are staging at the river mouth. There's some resident sturgeon that are in the river already. And uh, it's a lot of, you know, muddy bottom. And we're taking, you know, a, a slip sinker rig, like a typical catfish type rig, a four to six ounce weight, four to six aught, you know, octopus hook, and then a big glob of night crawlers, letting it sit on the bottom and just setting it until you feel that little tap, 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 tap. And then even, even like a, you know, a five foot fish will have the lightest bites and you set the hook and you've realized it's not a small fish at all. Almost the length of the bumper at 58 inches. <laughs> 47, nice! Guys, we are gonna be eating sturgeon. That is a perfect slot fish. Yeah, buddy, that is. A keeper sturgeon right there. I grew up watching fishing shows every Saturday morning, recording them on a VHS and just playing them back. And I was like, man, I'd love to do that, you know, one day. And, you know, started guiding and then got into photography and videography. And then all of a sudden, you know, they both collided and I started filming my own adventures. And I'm lucky enough to be able to call it a, a career. I hope to be able to entertain people kind of the way that I was entertained when I was watching those shows on Saturday morning, as well as just to educate. Like not all of us have that, that figure in our life that teaches us, you know, how to properly handle a fish or you know, proper catch and release, you know, selective harvest, all that stuff. And it's like, if I can help them, you know, understand some of those things and, and be that, you know, big brother to them and, and help them along the way. And so they can catch fish. Cause at the end of the day, we all, we all want to catch fish, right? So.